Hello, I'm Dr. Sanjay Panika. I founded Amrita Homeopathy. We have placed two locations in Bangalore, one at Kurumangla, the other at Marathali. The pins and needle-like sensation in the hands and the feet typically indicates two things. Either there is a reduced circulation to that particular area or there is nerve damage which is happening to that particular area. Like for example, you are seated in a place for a very long period, like you are folding your legs and sitting on the floor for many minutes, like maybe half an hour, one hour. You feel a tingling and numbness sensation in your legs. When you try to get up, you feel a numbness in your feet. It may take some time for you to come out of that. That is because the circulation is compressed. There is not enough circulation to the tissues leading to this particular condition. So any situation which can lead to a reduction in the blood flow to the hands or the feet can lead to this kind of a symptom. Which is very common in pregnancy. Women face this because of the pressure that can happen in the abdomen. The abdominal pressure coming onto the blood vessels leading to reduction in the circulation can also lead to this tingling and numbness. Now it's also seen in a very serious condition called as a compartment syndrome in the calf muscle where suppose there is an injury, there is blood loss and there is a lot of blood which has accumulated in the calf muscle. Let's say the fracture of the bone, blood has come into the compartments in the calf muscle. That leads to pressure building and that pressure can in turn cause this bursting pain and then tingling and numbness and all this kind of sensation. The conditions that can cause the nervous system to get affected is infections for instance. The disease condition which is definitely going to cause this symptom is leprosy. In leprosy, you find the nerves getting affected where this tingling and numbness sensation is seen in the patient. It can also be seen in conditions like Lyme disease, HIV and various other conditions like herpes where the nerves are affected leading to tingling and numbness. Tingling and numbness is also seen in diabetes. So whenever you find a patient with elevated blood sugar with tingling and numbness in the hands or the feet, that's an indication that there is nerve damage stuff starting up and something must be done about the elevated blood sugar levels. Also deficiencies of B12, B1, B6, all these things can cause, can lead to tingling and numbness sensation. Injury of the nerves due to either poor nutrition or injury due to infections or certain diseases or metabolic problems like you have your diabetes, even in sometimes thyroid disease also can present the tingling and numbness. So when you find these kind of symptoms, don't neglect it, treat it, go to the doctor, find out what is the root cause of this tingling and numbness. If it is a transient thing, it's okay. But if it is persisting again and again, repeating again and again, that's where you need medical attention and you shouldn't take it casually.